I'm Geo Mac. And I'm Jay Merritt. And you're watching Cutlass, Cutlass TV, TV News. News. Here's an end of the year recap of Clubs and Activities by Kaylee Morrison and Connor Sizemore. With the 2021 to 2022 school year coming to a close, the yearbook opens as we reflect on the changes each of us, student, teacher, and staff, experienced over the past eight months. A little cheesy, yeah, but if you haven't gotten the chance to read the yearbook or just don't like to read, this segment will shed light on student perspectives regarding the activity they partook in. Um, so some events that we got to go to this year were national convention, state convention, and a lot of uh, chapter activities with FFA meetings and volunteer services. It was a lot of fun this past year. Um, the best thing about FFA is the inclusive opportunities that we have. Um, we have a lot of different contests and uh, events that just really go in, into play that we let other students come. We have other ways for other students to get involved in FFA. Something that we're really excited for is the seeds. Uh, we get to grow those seeds from basically a seed into a full grown plant. Um, we also do some plug. Uh, inputs where we start with a little baby plant and we grow them into what we you saw in the greenhouse and it's just very uh, exciting to see all these plants get ready for the plant sale on May 21st. So with the with our theater we did Cinderella that was our musical this year we did Larry Benson um, and we did the puffs. In previous years, for at least one, I think two or three years, we haven't been able to do the so fresh because of COVID. And we came back with a really big show, the puffs, and it really showed the talent of our freshmen. And I truly think that that was probably the biggest thing that we did this year. Theater is more about a community building one massive project over a period of months that ends up being just this cool experience for people. And it really changes people's lives, especially with um, what the types of shows we put on. The GSA is the Gender and Sexuality Alliance. Um, at Belton High School, what we do is we let our, people, our members vote on topics to learn about. We usually do very nuanced topics that are much deeper than the surface level lessons that you usually just find online. It's a very community-based group. We ask questions, have discussions about these topics, and learn more about our community. For the, the Day of Silence, we passed out stickers to um, show the protest, the bullying and harassment of LGBT students in schools. And afterwards, we took a walk to Sonic in order to, as a break of the silence celebration. The biggest highlight for the band was probably our competitions, even though they, a few of them got rained out, so that was fun. We all got to just walk around and enjoy other marching competitions, especially the jazz competitions were fun because it was just jazz kids being nerds, so we got to listen to a bunch of different jazz uh, bands, and that was just a lot of fun. Uh, the best thing about band is just trying to find a family and like a place that you belong, because there's some of us who are like really sp into sports, and we're still in that nerdy kind of phase of band, and we all just get to come together and talk to each other, and like. Mr. Ogle and Noble are pretty much father figures for all of us, and they're all just so cool. And everyone is great, and I love them all. Yeah. Usually what the choir does is we put on concerts here in the PAC. Um, we have three concerts a year, I think. Or, sorry, four concerts a year. Um, we go to all the, uh, some people audition for all district choir and then some people audition to go to state and then the very last concert is pops and sending off of the seniors. Um, for me, the biggest highlight for choir was either pops or 
um, when we went to state and we got uh, gold. My it, COVID hit my freshman year, so the very last concert that we got to do was Pops, um, and it was all online. So everyone would be sitting in front of their computers with like little headphones or something like that. Um, and then they'd be singing to their computer and then Mr. Stuck would put all of the videos together. And this year, we didn't have to do that. Everyone could be on the risers or dancing on the stage and I thought that was pretty cool. TSA is the Technology Student Association and so we choose about four competitions that are related to technology and then we compete in them. So it's kind of similar to doing debate. Um, there are some debate competitions, some music production, that type of stuff. In robotics, we got very close to making it to state. Um, we made it to the very finale, and that was a really big deal for us because usually we never make it, so that was very exciting. The best thing about TSA is the wide variety of things that you can choose from. So again, I could produce a song, or I could design a website. There's a lot of different uh, competitions that you could do. Speech and Debate is a club and group that go to tournaments and competitively compete in argumentative debate and also forensics, which is more of a competitive acting. And some big highlights of the year would be uh, when a lot of our team was able to place at districts in finals. And then also we had a very good run at conference as well. You're also able to talk about things that are really important to you and you're able to talk about it and share it with people. I said the biggest highlight of Color Guard was the Glow Show and it always is, it's very fun. Uh, but the biggest highlight of Winter Guard was when we went to championships and we won third place uh, overall in the entire region. Uh, the best thing about Color Guard is the, uh, I have to say the formations, they're really fun because uh, we get to stand like in between the band members so we get to interact with them a lot. And the best thing about Winter Guard is the, uh, the actual like acts of camaraderie that we have. Like we have to, we have this floor that we have to put out when we, uh, when we perform. And so it takes all of us to pull it back together and to put it back on the cart. And so we do that every practice and it's grueling, but it's entertaining. FBLA is Future Business News of America. It's like a way to prepare yourself for the future. What I like about FBLA is essentially doing what I see myself doing in the coming years uh, regarding my career. With Caitlin Morrison, I'm Connor Sizemore. And you're watching Cutlass TV News. Three teachers are retiring from BHS. Here is more about these teachers' plans by Jaden Williamson, Geo Mack, and Josh Middlestad. Three teachers from our building are retiring after the school year comes to an end. Here's Ms. Labarge telling us what she's looking forward to the most about retiring. Um, traveling and not having to get up early in the morning. Next is Miss Bryant expressing her favorite parts and memories that brought her teaching experience to life and also what she's looking forward to the most about it all coming to an end. Um, my favorite part about teaching high school is that I usually left the building laughing almost every day of my career. Kids just crack me up and they make me laugh most times. So it was always fun having a smile on my face when I left the building. Um, Years ago, when I was a class sponsor, we did Halloween, which is really big at the high school, and I took tickets for football games during the Halloween games, and the dance team did Thriller, and it was just a nice fall feeling that we had, and it was, and when I took tickets at the games, it was just a lot of fun, so. Booths were decorated, kids were dressed up, dance team was doing Thriller, it was awesome. Lots of fun. Um, sleeping in <laughs> and playing with my two dogs. Coming in last is Miss Fails explaining her favorite part and memory from high school and what she's looking forward to the most about retiring. 
I think my favorite part about teaching high school has been meeting so many different students over the years. I've taught for 41 years in the Kansas and the Lake School District and in Dalton, and have taught junior high, high school, and worked with university students as well. And it's just all the interactions and the kids I've gotten to work with and the student leaders that I've been able to work with. One of my most favorite memories came from many years back. Um, our family had a house fire. And when I came back to school, um, after we kind of dug through things and tried to figure out what was salvageable and what wasn't, I had told my students that I had a teddy bear collection. And that was where the teddy bear was what I had received my engagement ring on, a little bag the teddy bear was holding. And they had filled my desk with teddy bears that day. And the little student that planned it, they were seventh grade class at that time, um, he ended up getting an in-school suspension, so he didn't get to be there the day that they had the teddy bears there. But it was such a heartwarming experience and made me feel like they cared about me and I cared about them. I think having a flexible schedule. Um, for many, many years, I've been on a school schedule. And the nice thing will be is having some flexibility um, for granddaughters, so spending time with them. I have a mom that has a lot of health issues, and so being able to help her is going to be another part of what life is going to be like. But just having some time to be able to just do what I need to do when I need to do it. But it's been a great year. For Jaden Williamson, Josh Minostat, I'm Gio Mack for Cutlass TV News. The band is about to depart to Washington, D.C. for a Memorial Day parade. Here's more about the participation by Tyler Fulton, Jeff Jones, and Chase Thompson. Junior Kayla Watts talks about what the D.C. trip is and what she is most excited about. So the marching band is traveling to D.C. to march in the National Mor Memorial Day Parade. Um, we will be wearing buttons to honor veterans on our jackets, and we will also be visiting some museums in D.C. while we're there. I'm really excited to go to the Smithsonian and be able to experience that. Senior Caitlin Lane talks to us about what she's excited for and how the band is preparing for the trip to D.C. Um, I'm most excited to be on TV and to go to Six Flags. So every Thursday we have rehearsals from 6 to 8 where we're either outside in the parking lot or we're in the gym just practicing marching. Senior Emma Spalding discusses what she is most excited for and how she prepares for it. Um, I'm most excited about, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to going to all the museums and uh, going to Six Flags and also like marching in the parade. I prepare to go to DC by, you know, packing all my clothes. I'm going to try and pack lightly so that I don't have a bunch of stuff to carry. And then, you know, just like mentally preparing myself for the really long bus ride. Freshman Jace Winker tells us what he is looking forward to most and the most challenging part of this. I'm most, um, most looking forward to just being a part of such a great experience and just be able to march in that parade is the most fun thing I can think of. The most challenging part has just been the preparation to get everything in order. Like we started in August and we've been preparing just for everything, like from uniforms to what we're going to bring and everything like that. I'm Jeffrey Jones with Chase Tomlinson and Tyler Fulton, and you're watching Cutlass TV News. Thanks for watching. Tune in next year. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem.